What's up guys, welcome back to another product review here at the Vault Pro Scooters. Today we're going over the Trinity Stingray V2 fender. Let's dive into it. So to start off, this fender is compatible with 125mm and 30mm wide. It does depend on the deck you have because some decks this fender won't fit snug or properly on there. So just make sure you have the right ones before you think about buying any wide wheels or 125 wheels. The Stingray fender is mounted with two bolts and keep in mind this fender does work with any deck that mounts their brakes from the top. So the bolt runs through from the top of the deck, down through the middle of the brake, and tightens from the bottom. Keep in mind, if your deck does not have a cutout on the bottom where you can tighten the bolts, it might be a little bit difficult to tighten the nuts on the screws. The Stingray fender does have a slit where the brake bolts are able to be moved forward or backward for wheel clearance or feet adjustment. The Stingray fender does have a really nice and sleek look to it. It does have the cutout where the bolts are, and on the sides of the wings it has cutouts which is going to allow it to be lighter, but let's see where it sits at on scale. All right, with hardware, it comes in at 3.7 ounces. Definitely light for a fender. Like I said, with the cutouts on the side of the wings, it's helping it stay light, and with the slit in the middle where the brake bolts are. All right, guys, this was the Trinity Stingray V2 fender. Stay tuned for our next product demo.